Oda, would you be interested in fighting my PvP bot inside the PvP arena? It is 6-0 against Ditter and 2-0 against Dino. Freezing him until, like, I'm unfrozen, to be honest. I can't even get an opportunity, bro. I'll go here. Oh, I'm dead! Oh my god, bro! This kid, bro! This fucking bot! This guy is unsolvable, bro! Oh. Alright. I'll give you a chance. I'll fight your PvP bot. Where is it? I gotta show that I'm the best in the world if I beat everybody else, don't I? Oda, it's so nuts, trust me. It's not a normal bot, is it, Josh? It does- it doesn't even, like, you can't fake it. It goes off what you're wearing and what you're doing, right? Or am I wrong? Oda, it's an AI. Let me see. I'd rather do it in, uh, main, though. No peer. Oda, you literally won't beat it unless it's RNG. It's that good. Like, really, that bot is that good? Are you sure? No way. Tell me, like, that bot has no weakness. You can't even one-tick anything. Let me see. I think I could beat your bot. There's no way, like, it's that good, is it? I need to, I need to see it myself. I need to see what it does. Hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see how good it is. So this is a bot. Okay, good luck. Bro, bro, I'm not gonna lie. This venom is gonna be a problem. Like we gotta, we gotta, we gotta restart. We gotta, like, can we, can we restart? Continue this one though. I'm down 100 damage, which is doable, I guess. I just realized my bow was inaccurate the whole time. That's so fucking bad. I could beat it. I could beat it. I think it's beatable. I think the bot is beatable. Like, yeah, it moves on its own and it does everything on its own, but I think it's doable. Let's do no Venom this time and let's wear a Serpentine Helm. Rematch, rematch. There's no Serpentine Helm. Like, you actually got to bring a Venom. Okay, I bring, we bring Sand Fuse. How about we use Staff of Light? Yo, use Staff of Light. Use Staff of Light. Then we won't have to worry about Venom. I win. I'm going to win.
Ah, yes, I'm happy I beat it. <laughs> I was sweating so hard on that shit. <laughs> what is it, 1-1 one, one now? What, what's the tracker? I won on tracker, realistically. Let me explain why. I got 7 extra hits on it. And it got 40, right? I got 37 right, but I got 7 extra hits. I win. I even beat it on tracker, Kate, you know? That's how you know I'm a Zeman. I'm a fucking Zeman. I always win on tracker. Did you notice that? I always win. I figured out its weakness too. In, in the middle of the fight, I figured out its weakness. It goes by gear as well. Whatever gear you, you do, it does the opposite. Like it does like, I don't even know how to explain it, but so let's say I put Ancestral Top on, it does Protect Mage. Let's say I, I, I put Armadillo, it does automatically Protect Range. Damn, like that did it bitter and Dino didn't beat this once and I beat it on my second try. You think it? Question is, do I go for round two and prove that it's not a fluke? Or do I just run away and take my wood and act like I'm the best in the world? Talk to me. So wait, let me ask you something. Crown, the guy that's in the chat, the one that's uh, the one that owns this bot. Has anybody ever beaten it or no? Am I? Okay, how about this? Be better question. Has anybody ever beat it on tracker like I did? Best of the Ericsson on a pier. Hmm. Is he? All right, chat, here we go. I'm going to sweat my arse off. Give me a ZL. I got I to gotta, I gotta confirm the... The best at it. I gotta beat it this time. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. Honestly, it was like neck at neck the whole time. Look at the tracker. 52 out of 82, 54 out of 85. It did a little bit better. It did a little bit better, but I matched it. I matched it for sure. He said, you know, the whole time I was mid my trying to add something. That's so cool how the bot can move on its own predict with gear and like that, that, that's actually so cool like yeah it's cancer like if this gets used in the world D, but i find it very cool that there's something this advanced to pking but you could definitely hit it off like i'm gonna give i'm gonna give you guys what what i've learned so far so 
Like, for instance, when I wear armadillo top, it puts protective range, even though I have a staff of light on, which means if I one tick my ancestral top in Baragat, I could hit it on every single time on protective range with magic. Or if I wear armadillo top and Varak skirt, it does protective range and I could one tick mage again. Or I could even have Zardi crossbow out and then it's forced to use protective range and I just one tick a Baraga. And then the AGS spec is always a one tick, so it never really predicts when I'm going to melee. Wow, I specced off the bat. Interesting. Good fight, brother. 73. Sit the fuck down. Don't ever challenge Big O again. Damn, I destroyed your bot that time, not gonna lie. Absolutely fucking destroyed. I got way more overheads done than your bot. I found I found the Shrik to it. I found the Shrik. The bot is very good because it doesn't just go off with the weapon you're wielding. It goes off your gear. That's a big thing. The movement on it is fucking amazing, which means, let's be honest. Let's say if you're enaging somebody, and I don't know about you guys, but I use mouse scroll wheel to zoom in, zoom out. And then I use my arrow keys. Okay. Yeah, I know. I'm not a 2007 PKer. I use my arrow keys to move my screen. So for me, that's actually a very big advantage for it because I use my arrow keys till this day to move my screen. When, when it runs out of pattern, I have to put my, my hand that's on the F keys all the way to the, to the arrow keys. And I got to move it physically with my left hand and it's off the F keys. Movement is a big thing because it, it makes you misclick a lot and that can lead to death. The gear it, it adapts. Like there, uh, by the way, AGS, I got one question before you go. Where's AGS? Um, does it adapt? Because did you make it Orgia smack more? Because it didn't use to Orgia smack, but I was predicting its bolts and mage hits because I would tick it right before it hit. Did you add that in or did it do it by itself? I need to know. Let me trade you and actually talk to you about that. Math random one and three. Does it get anybody? Oh, so it's like a one out of three, whatever it hits. I see. So it could hit me melee at any time or range any time, whatever I'm not protecting. It, predict, it predicts a random number and then it does that attack. Wow. I would say that a very good PKR can definitely outplay it. Like, I, I feel like I extremely outdone it that fight. Because, like, let's say I'm doing range. It's either going to melee me or mage me. And that fight, if you look back at it, I, clicked, I would click range on purpose and then flick to mage as soon as it's about to hit. Because I'm guessing that it's going to either major range me. Just like if I had mage up, as soon as it's about to hit me the next tick, I put the range on to guess it's about to range me. So, you know, it's like, it's like you, you got to predict, right? So one out of two or one out of three, whatever it is, either mage, melee, range. It says I got 15 more overheads right than it. And I did 76% better. I mean, well, 24% better, which is really good. I'm very proud of myself on that last one. Honestly, it's a very good bot. It, it, it does compare to, to Titans for sure. Uh, very surprised, to be honest, that something like that exists.